Oh no, been down bad, boys. Been down bad. Now, <laughs> sorry, that was pretty funny. This is coming to us from the Daily Mail. Ben Affleck is giving up on women unless ex Anna DeArmas comes back asking for another chance. Written by Cassie Carpenter. And yeah, this kind of seals the deal that she will never return. All right. So let's get this out of the way, early gentlemen. Of course, strokes all day. She is, she is rather, hold on, let's, this is, this is the same photo that we just saw, but let's slide up a little bit. No, Ben, not you. Her, okay, my goodness, my body definitely popping. Like, yeah, she's okay. You know, it's cute, you know, got that, got, got a real cute vibe going on here in this black and white, you know, that's, that's, that's it as far as, like, what they show of her in the article. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a hot one, but she's a starlet right and then i mean brother's resume is stacked i mean prime jennifer lopez prime jennifer garner my guy he's been he's been doing this for a long time and one of the reasons i actually have a bit of a soft spot for ben affleck is because of the story of him and matt damon who you know bro bros brothers you know that came up together in holly weird and the like and it was like oh that's, that's real cool man it, chill bros chill bros and one went one way one went the other way when it comes to relationships and it's it's such a easy um you know display to put on for you guys that here here we are Two-time Oscar-winning filmmaker Ben Affleck is reportedly ready to remain single for the foreseeable future. The Berkeley-born, Cambridge-raised, 48-year-old's castmate turned quarantine boo, don't, don't, come on, seriously, Anna DeArmas was said to have ended their, relation, their romance last week over the phone. Ben accepts he would be better off being single for for a while, a source told The Mirror on Saturday. Now, all of this is secondhand, um, is secondhand accounts and the like. Like, this is all from sources. Nothing directly comes from anyone. Let's be insanely clear about that. But like I said, as far as the display, right, between the difference, let's actually skip a lot of this stuff because we, we're really here to ogle the chick for the most part. And for me to explain... Hold on. That's him and his uh, family. Uh, okay, Jennifer Garner. Got, got a lot thicker, huh? That's that, that's him and Matt Damon, right? So, I use Matt Damon on the channel as an example very often as to what you could... As to the traditional sense of how relationship dynamics should work. He met his wife at a restaurant. She was like a waitress at the restaurant. At, at a restaurant. He met her... And guess what? I don't know this woman's name. You don't never hear nothing about her. She's sitting there chilling. And, and, and we don't know, right? Like, we don't know anything that goes on with it within Matt Damon's relationship or anything else like that. We can all, we are only left to assume that she is off living the high life. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Because the power dynamics between the two, I mean, as much as women would like to, or particularly feminists, not women, but particularly feminists would like to say, oh, that's abusive. That's terrible. I'm sorry, but that's the way things really should go. The wife has her, um, like the, the husband has enough resources to be able to comfortably take care of the wife. So whatever she so desires to do is optional and is she she because in a relationship in any relationship it's very difficult to have you know two a one individuals in a relationship one has to be uh a one one two or uh or b b one or something like that like it's really hard like that 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 dynamic is really uh difficult it is is far more easier when you're willing to accept it as opposed to Ben Affleck, who goes after these starlets who are just absolutely gorgeous and, you know, really breathtaking. I mean, honestly, like I said, he his resume is rather impressive and she is not an unattractive uh, slice of lady here. I like that, uh, the areola outline, by the way. But that's the thing. She's a starlet. She got the bread. Like, she has the money. She's complete. She, 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 she is a A1 in and of herself. Right. So she's like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't need no man. Anything else like that. And thus and thusly, she cannot give you the type of loyalty that, you know, that you'd really genuinely want from her in the first place. 
primarily because of the casting couch. Now, everyone likes to play as if, oh, well, you know, men and women are the exact same thing. And it doesn't matter how many meats she done take, taken down. It kind of does because... Once again, it's a matter of uh, pair bonding. And so at 32, right, I mean, and, and being as bad as she is, being a starlet, you know, like, yo, like her loyalty went out the window like 45 meets ago, bro. Like, seriously. And so thusly, fun for, fun for a little bit of fun, you know what I'm saying, for, for a little bit of time, a lot of fun for a little bit of time, but you have to recognize it as that, you know, you can't get your heart all wrapped up into... um into this relationship with this woman, with this over 30 year old woman who has been around and has all and, and has acquired enough resources for herself for her to be as picky as she wants to be. Go ahead, sis. I enjoy the strokes while I got them. Be on, be on your way. We all good. <laughs> like... I think you guys understand what I'm saying. I would like to think that you guys understand what I'm saying. Always be aware of the circumstances. And one of the main reasons I'm not going too hard into the article itself is because there's um, it's like secondhand information. This is all it's the Daily Mail. All right. Like, yeah, you know, grains of salt, mi amiga. But I think it's a fantastic example to set forward in conversation for us as guys within the manosphere to have as in the situational awareness in dealing with, you know, anyone. And the self-awareness and the situational awareness when you're dealing with almost anyone or anything, including the women that you so desire to bed, you know? But the deal is, you know, been, been more than likely got a little like, yo. Because another point that I really think we can go over is how, you know, our loyalty, I think it's, not as attached to our genitalia as it is our hearts opposed to, you know, as, as, you know, our, our, our endorphins and the dopamine rush that doing our biological function, which is provide and protect, um, gives us. Yeah. I think that, you know, uh, we at a biological level care, we care a lot. We care a lot more than, we really let on because we are stoic. We have to be stoic, gentlemen. Make no mistake when they sit there and like, oh, well, men should be able to cry. And nah, nah, bro. Like, you can't let people see you cry for the simple fact that someone has to be strong, right? Like, someone has to be the stronger one. And in a lot of and when and when you find out it's the chick, because <laughs> like, she's gone, she's she's more than likely not coming back. But when you find out that it's the chick. It, it, like oh man that's that's even worse that's a little bit more wrenching because as guys we in in this culture in western culture we are raised to believe that you know well because it makes logical sense for her to want to it, like we'll spend an entire relationship creating you know like you know like trying to show her the logic and being in the relationship but at the end of the day you know it's not gonna it, it, like she that's not where she's uh, running off of you know what i'm saying she's running off of the spontaneity and the excitement of it all and when the excitement's gone whew, so is she so guys yeah i just thought this was a this was something rather interesting to chop up and yeah, with that being said we're gonna bring it to an end all the internet stuff if you like it toss it a like dislike go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bit Bitch, you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from the Teespring. That was a salt truck that just went past, and now I'm a little irritated. Uh -huh. Get something from Teespring. Uh, check, do, go through the description box. You know, bang that one out. Uh, and speak. Uh, yeah, definitely demolish the description box. That really hit my car. Like that salt just like really hit the hell out of my car, and I'm kind of pissed off about it now. Um, and speak. Let me know what. Uh, well, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Yo, she's bad, yo. She she is definitely hot. But at the same time, you know, shoot, she's 32 years old. She's been she's in, been in the entertainment industry, you know what I'm saying, for a while. Like it's it, none of that stuff is really on some built to lastness. So, is that the only other photos? Oh my goodness. So, that's all they got really got is this one. Okay, yeah. I guess we'll end it with this. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, all right? And until the next one.